In this tutorial, we look on Animation Wizard inside the view 2015. To access Animation Wizard, you can access directly from drop down menu or press Ctrl F11, or you can access by clicking on an icon in your top navigation bar. You'll notice if you hover over, it gives you tips about left uh, click show animations or Animation Wizard. However, if your timeline is not yet open or no animation defined and you left click, it's still open animation wizard. If you're just looking for the timeline, click close or cancel and timeline will open. But for purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use animation wizard. So first, you'll notice it's open menu and short description tell you what's happened. We already have it, our object selected, so I'm going to click next. And next step, you'll notice we have a different type of motions we can apply. We have it airborne type of vehicles, standards, smooth velocity, look ahead, airplane, helicopter, or missiles. And depending on what you select, a different behavior will be applied. Most time, they all will be pointing straight to the path and depend on what type of the vehicle you can have it banging over on a turn or follow the ground if you have it ground vehicles included even um, pedestrians or water speedboard they will apply and follow the ground surface currently our ground surface is flat so the line will be flat as well so let's say for this one we'll just go and select just airplane and we'll go click next. Before click next, you notice right here we have a customized vehicle, uh, vehicle react option. And this way we can say what is the roll sensitive for the airplane acceleration, how fast it can follow the path. Anticipations, it's meaning when before the turn, when it start kind of bang, uh, turning around or other. So all this effect we can apply to this. As example, if we start to move vehicles, sometimes for old vehicles, you want to reduce acceleration sensitivity. So it's look more like a slow starting or accelerating. For purpose of tutorial, we'll just leave it everything as default. So close to click X and let's go click next. So right here, you'll notice now we have our different repeat modes. Our animations, we can go once put it on repeat how many times we want it we can specify we can loop up go over and over repeat or we can go back and forward so different motions this is work very well for example if i do animations on the propellers i probably want to set the loop for this so next time when i take my object and i move around You'll notice propeller will work all the time as long as I render animations if we apply loop. Then also when you apply a rotation on loop, you can specify on what axis you want to rotate and what directions. So this provide all three axes. The small tip, if you provide rotation for your um, propellers as example, be sure it is stay in a, those axis X, Y and Z. If you have it like 45 degrees, you may have a hard time rotation because it will apply to those axes. You can switch to the local axis and try animate it this way. So overall, be sure you pay attention to what type of axis it's at, global, local, or a view, and which way you apply animations. So next, we have it speed mode. Constant velocity, it start with same speed and with same speed. Easy in and out, it's a start slow and slow down on the end. Constant velocity is nice if you just apply one shot and if you want to start, like person start running or a dog and stop and you want this more natural look, on this case you can use easy in and out. So this is what we're going to select here. We don't need to select any repeated or rotation. Even when we select rotation for the sphere, it won't be that visible. So let's go click next. Right here you can see we have a preview on some spinning rotation of vibration. So for example, 
we can apply some vibrations and in preview you can see velocity so intensity let's put it to the hundred so we can preview a little bit better and we reduce frequency maybe to 20 gigahertz so in this case we'll have a little bit more visible shaking um, Vibrate is actually very interesting and useful when you start um, applied to like rocket fly or maybe missiles and you want to have this natural shaking so you can modify it to this. Okay, 10 maybe and 500. Let's see if this one brings a little bit better to view. So right here, probably can see kind of starts shaking around. So I will leave it this crazy uh, type intensity, everything. And how I say, we'll leave it spinning around off let's go next and you can notice right here we have our view from top we can zoom in zoom out but we can also now create the path so by pen I'm start drawing and look how the line does not go straight because the shaking that I applied it's showing me how it will start shaking so next we can also apply edit insert or delete any waypoint i will leave it as default we'll go to next and right here you can see we have the same height it's showing us so we don't change height and we also um in how many seconds we want so for example if i want to do this just in five seconds i'll set don't worry about all of these properties because you can modify them after it's completed this is just to help you we set up wizard to go over initial data and work with that. So let's go click next. Right here you can see our preview. Okay, let's go click next. And it's notification coming about the timeline that opened and some small um, also point, which is what um, all of this icon means. We'll look on the, our animation timeline in later tutorials and more details. So let's go click finish and right here you can see our animations was created so we can re-enable our view window click play and you can see right here we created the crazy ball animation a couple tips before we jump to another tutorial to look more on the timeline when you're going to render animation you can use it preset but if you need a more natural look, be sure you use the broadcast quality. This will also render and apply um, motion blur to your object, so it will look a little bit more natural, uh, not too sharp. However, if you don't need it, you can disable. But uh, for the animation, you want at least use the broadcast quality. So let's look closer in the next tutorial on our timeline and some properties that we can modify in animated inside the view.